okay so in this part i will be practicing the foreign currency valuation so I'll, i will share this part with you so for this first step is to go to spro please note down this step it will be easy for you to recall this in the future okay now you have to go to financial accounting then general ledger accounting periodic processing valuate and yes we need to do all these configurations so first is define valuation method so here for now we need not to do anything valuation method evr is predefined or is standard in sap so we are going to choose this method for now evr but if you want you can create and go and create from here new entries so go back define valuation areas second step is valuation area go to this new entries it is two digit keys alphanumeric so you have to mention something like maybe uh, ai okay here mention your valuation method it was evr right it is standard in sap mention the currency type it is 10 local currency for the company code okay and uh, here mention valuation area for nestle right and then just save it from here i have already done this configuration configuration so i am going to just show you here it is this is my valuation area ni this is the valuation method evr currency type and the long text so you just have to save it from there now come on go back uh, check assignment of accounting principles right so just i n a p o l indian accounting principle okay so you uh, here you have to just give me a minute okay here you need to check whether you have assigned your accounting principles to the ledger or not okay go back and assign valuation area with one of the accounting principle uh, it may be leg for leading ledger or non leading right so select this and new entries mention your valuation area was ni and accounting principle was Uh, let me show you one thing how can you check open one new screen f i n s c ledger under underscore ledger okay so here just select your ledger m n and let and here check your accounting principle what you have assigned here it is iapn indian accounting principle for nestle i have created this accounting principle and assigned it to this non leading ledger so i am taking this accounting principle here right i n a p since i have already assigned it have i have already done this configuration so it will show me an error and all entry already exist with the same key so you just have to mention your valuation area which you have created in the previous step and mention your accounting principle you can uh, check it from the uh, finc underscore ledger and just assign it uh, if you want to assign with the leading ledger accounting principle so uh, assign assign it with that accounting principle okay and one more thing one valuation area can be linked only with one accounting principle if you want another accounting principle so you have to create one more valuation area for this uh, you can't do this like for one valuation uh, one to many it can't be done it has to be one to one okay so now go back the next step is uh
go to this foreign currency valuation okay now prepare automatic postings for foreign currency valuation and just double click on this exchange rate differences open items in gl account double click mention your chart of account here <coughs> i have already learned this part but i am i will explain you here right so first you have to do is choose your gl account uh, it should be <coughs> accounts receivable or payable these are our reconciliation accounts so let me show you <coughs> accounts receivable uh, 14906 i have selected this so let me check you have to choose your accounts receivable in this gl account and here you have to mention the uh, there uh, here you have to create four gl accounts one is exchange rate loss account exchange rate gain account and currency valuation loss account currency valuation gain account and one is balance sheet adjustment account right so for this just go to fs00 let me show you i have already selected the company code so exchange rate loss so it is under non operating expense under expense head and then uh, field status group general and your currency and just save it from here like this you have to create all other exchange rate loss and currency valuation loss are the part of expenses so you will create the, these gl under expense account and uh, under revenues you have to create exchange rate gain and currency valuation gain okay again non operating income and the last was balance sheet adjustment so it is a part of assets you will create under the asset range here it is and one more thing over here please tick mark this box balances in local currency only uh, don't do it don't do this in other gl uh, like exchange rate loss or currency valuation you just have to tick mark this box in the balance sheet adjustment account right and just save it now coming back to the this is green here select your exchange rate loss gl then exchange rate so why we are actually creating these gl account so <clears throat> like it was explained in the class um, when we are doing the trading with with some foreign customer so usd is involved there right so we there we have usd is involved and we have a exchange rate so current uh, suppose say $1 uh, so let's take one example so we have a one foreign customer uh, delta we are selling some goods to this so right now the $1 is equals to 75 so i am selling at this price right and at the closing of the books end currency rate is 77 so you are gaining by rupees 2 77 okay by so you are gaining by rupees 2 so it is not actually gain so it will be called as unrealized gain or loss so we have to mention those we are not actually gaining something or losing something because we are not receiving the payment yet we will receive payments uh, let's say customer uh, will pay in the next month of 16 or 17 so customer will pay us then but at the end of the month when we are closing our books the rate is 77 so it will be called as our unrealized gain okay if it's a gain so you have to mention those loss gain so this is the purpose of creating those, uh, these gls actually so i hope it will be clear now just save it from here go back okay 
So in the third step you have to go to let me come back go to SPRO SAP reference IMG SAP net weaver and then general something yes general settings currencies and enter exchange rates so on the screen so in the third step you have to mention the uh, exchange rate what is uh, what is the exchange rate on the date you have uh, sold goods to the, uh, sold goods to that customer so what is the exchange rate uh, so let me take um, let me go with that example again i have sold the goods to the customer on the date 1 right so go to this new entries our standard exchange rate for fi is m okay so suppose i am selling goods on 1 or take today's date here mention uh, to whom you are selling so, uh, if it's europe so euro and uh, if it's uh, america so usd okay it depends with whom you are dealing so mention the currency of that country and uh, here mention what is the rate currently and here mention your local currency next our closing period so on the closing what is the currency uh, exchange rate on this date our books are closing ok USD so let's say uh, on 31st of April ok it is 30th of April it is 74 so uh, so we are at loss only unrealized loss okay not realized inr and again m uh, the date on which you are receiving the payment from your foreign customer let's say um, 21 5 okay so on this date the currency rate is say 76 so we are at profit because when we traded this uh, the currency rate was 75 but when we are receiving the payment we will receive at this rate uh, suppose 1000 goods we have sold so 1000 into 75 75000 okay but when uh, we have sold goods for the 75,000 uh, rupees for this date 15 4 2020 but when we have to receive the payment the exchange rate is 76 we will receive the payment at this rate right I know. so how this actually work in real time like uh, they are fixing the uh, payment like for 15 days uh, uh, let's say has sold goods to customer from another uh, country and they have fixed like you have to make the payment within 15 days and we are selling at the uh, exchange rate at 75 and we and we will receive the payment uh, on this rate only so it is mechanism uh, it varies com companies to company how they are making it so it's uh, it's a real time thing so this is the example for the training purpose only so now you have done this for three dates this is closing this is the date on which goods have been sold and this is the date 21 on which you have received the payment now just save it from here i have already done this part so i am not saving it now go back okay after saving it from here next step you have to create one invoice and 
there you will see the impact of currency change okay so i have created one invoice posted this so i am showing showing you this in the document display part fb03 so this is my document execute this and see uh, i have sold goods to this boom overseas limited for 1000 here currency is usd so this is not in indian currency so just display and see 75000 because the rate was 75 at that time on this day 12 3 the rate is 75 and we have sold goods for 1000 us dollars right so you can display it from here and here you can check currency so one more thing while creating the invoice let me show you so when you will create the invoice uh, please do not mention uh, forget to mention usd or whatever whatever the foreign currency you are dealing with please mention that currency it is your document currency right so please mention that currency here do not forget this part okay so this is done in the next part uh, the last step actually uh, where you will see the uh, value realized loss valuation all this in the last step on the same screen go to this financial accounting accounts receivable and periodic processing then go to this closing valuate and click on this fagl underscore fcv okay mention your company code and valuation uh, so it is 3103 valuation it is the it is the month end activity so just mention the last date of the month and check on test run okay so you select your customer if you remember the customer so mention this and if you do not remember so just mention one to this z z z so i do remember the customer maybe not so let me do this and uh, okay you don't have to do anything and just and take this mug if box if it is not okay and execute this on test run okay and i execute okay so it is showing document uh, 18 this already valuated with valuation on 31 34 3 2022 uh, that is why it is not showing anything here uh, but when you will uh, post a invoice and then when uh, then you will come to this part here you will see two postings okay so in the one it will shown you as a reversal for the unrealized gain or loss so that uh, it has no impact on the balance sheet or on or any accounts because it is unrealized gain or loss you will see two postings over here right and then just after test run click on this update run and then execute okay so this was about the foreign currency valuation uh, since i have already done the configuration i have tried to explain this uh, if you have any doubts please mention those in the comment section or in the whatsapp group okay thank you